Every year researchers do an amazing job at discovering anomalies out in space. Finding out what they mean and why they're here has proven to be sometimes difficult. With space being so vast it's said we'll never truly be able to wrap our heads around it. However, that hasn't stopped some of the world's greatest minds at trying to understand what's lurking out in the vastness of space. Over the last few decades, telescopes and observatories have been an essential part for aiding with the discovery of new galaxies, planets and nebulas. One of these recently helped astronomers and researchers lock onto a mysterious object lurking just outside of our solar system. The team used the Very Large Array Radio Telescope and Observatory, which can be found in central New Mexico. It's not just one telescope here that's helped researchers with their goals. In fact, the observatory is home to over 20 large radio telescopes, all of which have some of the best tech installed into them to help researchers hunt the cosmos. Perhaps some of the most impressive discoveries made here by the astronomers include that of black holes, young stars and anomalies in the Milky Way galaxy. Being found at an elevation of 2,100 meters, or 6,970 feet makes these telescopes some of the best on the planet, and it's very likely they will be making more amazing discoveries for years to come. One such discovery to come from using the very large array telescopes was that of a mystery rogue planet that was detected outside of our solar system. The reason it gets the term of a rogue planet is because researchers couldn't detect if the planet has a parent star. One of the reasons these planets make the news is because they've been ejected from the planetary system, or have never been bound to a star. In fact, astronomers who have studied these types of planets have come forward and said there could be billions of them in the Milky Way galaxy alone. One of the most recent rogue planets is that of SIMP J01365663 plus 0933473. The planet has been described as being 12.7 times larger than Jupiter, and has an incredible magnetic field which is said to be far more impressive than Jupiter's. This is an impressive comparison, as Jupiter produces some of the most impressive auroras our solar system has to offer. Going back a few years ago, NASA captured one of Jupiter's most impressive auroras to date. They are much bigger than Earth's and also produce thousands of times more energy. Another interesting thing about this is Jupiter creates its own auroras. Earth doesn't create its own. Instead, Earth's auroras are created by solar storms. One of the reasons Jupiter can do this is because of its strong magnetic field. This allows it to grab charged particles from its surroundings. These auroras were first picked up on when the Voyager 1 spacecraft passed by Jupiter in the 1970s. You would think that this would be a rare occurrence, but astronomers said during a 2007 press release they were so frequent that every time they looked at Jupiter through a telescope they could see the auroras. After conducting further tests on the rogue planet, astronomers have estimated it's around 200 million years old. It's not going to be a place that humans will want to visit. The planet's temperature averages at around 1,500 degrees Fahrenheit, and due to its size the planet almost makes it into the category of a gas giant. One of the lead researchers who worked on discovering the planet said the following. This object is right at the boundary between a planet and a brown dwarf, or a failed star, and is giving us some surprises that can potentially help us understand magnetic processes in both stars and planets. Astronomers in 2018 also went on to say the following. In 2018, we noted that detecting SIMP with the very large array through its auroral radio emissions meant we was able to have new ways of detecting exoplanets, including the elusive rogue ones not orbiting a parent star. This particular object is exciting because studying its magnetic dynamo mechanisms can give us new insights on how some types of mechanisms can operate in extrasolar planets, planets beyond our solar system. We think these mechanisms can work not only in brown dwarfs, but also in both gas giants and terrestrial planets. Another mysterious rogue planet that was captured by astronomers was that of the Chao 110913 However, there is an air of mystery that surrounds this object as researchers are not sure what this object actually is. 
when it was first discovered they classified it as a protoplanetary disk. However, many astronomers want to classify it as either a sub-round dwarf or a rogue planet. Another mysterious space structure that researchers have been able to study is that of the cosmic web. It's been described as being the brain of the universe. This is because the cosmic web appears to have strands of structures that link many galaxies, and when first looking at it the web even looks like the inside of a brain. Recent observations showed scientists that galaxies believed to be around 11 to 12 billion light years away are linked together, and this is being held by a network of galaxy filament. This filament could help researchers to answer questions regarding how the universe was formed, and details about the Big Bang. Professor Michelle Famagali said the following about the discovery. It's very exciting to see for the first time multiple and extended filaments in the early universe. We finally have a way to map these structures directly, and to understand in detail their role in regulating the formation of supermassive black holes in galaxies. Another interesting discovery has been made resting a short 40 light years away from our planet, and it appears to be the largest mass of diamonds to ever have existed within our solar neighbours. Known as 55 Cancri E, the rest of planets made almost entirely out of diamonds that is expected to be roughly 8 times the collective mass of our Earth. Unfortunately, if you planned on mining the planet to fire its precious gems, you would find the entire planet to be so hostile that it's most likely almost entirely covered in lava. The planet is expected to be tardily locked, which means there rests a permanent day side and a permanent night side, as there is no rotation to create a day and night cycle. This leaves the day side of the planet to be more than 1700 degrees Celsius in temperature, a temperature more than hot enough to turn iron into liquid. Its gravity works out to be more than 8 times that of Earth's gravity, and the large amount of data concerning surface temperature variations have been connected to a large amount of possible volcanic activity, and this releases large clouds of dust that can cover the whole air of the planet, and turn it into darkness. If that doesn't make mining operations seem near impossible, the orbit of the planet around its sun takes less than 18 hours to complete. That means that an entire year on 55 Kangri E is less than a single day on Earth, making landing and launching to and from the planet nearly impossible to maintain. Something interesting in regards to space was announced by researchers a while back, and it also involves tardigrades. One question that's come up is what is the toughest animal on Earth? Although many may look to some of the larger creatures that walk the planet, Scientists have said it's the small creatures that come out on top, and one of these goes by the name of tardigrade. Many may not be aware of these creatures, but they're micro-animals with segmented bodies. They are usually water-dwelling creatures but have been found everywhere on the planet. They thrive in harsh conditions. For example, they've been found in the Antarctic ice, deep in ocean beds, dried up lakes and even high in the Himalayas. Recently, these creatures made the news for heading into space. It goes back to an Israeli spacecraft that tried to land on the lunar surface. However, the mission didn't go to plan and the spacecraft ended up crashing on the moon. This mission occurred on the 11th of April, and now researchers are saying the lunar surface could be filled with these tiny creatures. The original mission's plan was to land a robotic lander that had tardigrades on it, Due to the unfortunate event though, it's not known if these small creatures survived, although scientists have said it's very likely due to how resilient they are. It's not known how long they will live for, but scientists have said it's very likely they'll be on the lunar surface for a while. Another worry that some researchers have put forward is that it's not a good idea to go polluting the moon. It's no secret that many missions have gone to the moon, and over the years humans have left behind a lot of debris. Most of this comes from redundant missions or because we can't return certain things. Going back to tardigrades, scientists have called them extremophobes due to them being able to survive in such harsh conditions. One thing scientists are doing is studying these creatures to see if we can replicate what they do. If we were able to take some of the tardigrades' abilities and place them in a human, it would make us much more superior. At the moment, the human body is not great at handling harsh conditions. 
In fact, for humans to survive in an environment, everything has to be exactly right. It's been estimated that tardigrades have been around for over 500 million years, meaning they outlived the dinosaurs. So what do you make of these incredible space discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below, and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.